we just let the two little piglets out and I didn't get it in time but he touched that fence didn't like it it's got 7,000 amps going through that thing so <laughs> This is going to be fun. I can't wait. I'm glad I've got these pigs. This is where they're going to be staying. I put them in there this morning. And I'm already letting them out. Because they are they don't act like they're real scared or anything. You know. <laughs> oh, they're going to be fun. Cost a lot too, probably. Now they're brother and sister, so I need to get another male. The male will probably eat in the fall, and uh, so when we get another male and breed with this other one, I think it's half Landreth, half Duroc. I'm not sure. I can't remember. Maybe it's not a Duroc. I mean, they they were raised pretty good, you know, the first eight weeks, so they're used to humans being around, and uh, they're not real terrible. They get to run a little bit now. They were in maybe a 10 by 12 area, so they're going to be field pigs. Oh, look, they're already loving it. Yep, that's female's pretty happy anyway. <laughs> Please go over and touch that fence, get trained on it. Now that is pig netting. It's running really hot, so, so far I like it. Don't touch it. Yep, buddy. There you go, you're learning. <laughs> I think it's funny because it reminds me of my grandfather teaching me when I was younger. <laughs> yeah, I think we've all went through it if we've lived on a farm. So, just don't pee on one. New. keep up with them this week and I'll bring you videos this week more videos I should say of how they're doing and uh, how well they're being trained on this fence well, they're going to explore everything yep don't do it well he's touching it it didn't get him that ain't good might better <laughs> I know it's on Oh, yep, yeah, okay. This is a place I'm worried about because I don't have any fencing up behind this area over here. So. Test every little bit of it. These are our piglets in training. Oh, you see him? He saw that fence and he moved away from it. So they're already getting trained. They don't know what to do. They're just like, wow. How do we got so much space now? Very cool. So, 
I don't know how long it's going to take for him to get trained. He's getting, yep, got it again. It wasn't as bad that time. But I'm glad they're backing away from it. So this is how you train. Pig netting so far, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go around this with a single strand of a fence, electric fence. And I'm going to train them on that before I let them out into this field over here and I will I will uh, put some more metal posts out and then I'll I'll get some uh, uh, single wire fencing and put it around here in in a little while it's gonna be about a month or so I want them to get used to this about two weeks I'll put the uh, single wire up so they'll get used to that at least they'll know and I'm going to put red ribbon on it. That way they'll recognize it even further that, hey, that's hot. I'm going to stay away from it. Let's see if I can turn this around. I can't while well, it's recording, it don't look like. All right, so this is a journey. It's, uh, it's going to be food on the table for us in the fall. And I've been watching a lot of YouTube channels to try to get this. Plus, the guy I bought it off of just lives down the road. He's had pig for years, but he's never run them in the field. He's never had field pigs. He's always kept them in a little pen inside the barn. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> I think they're gonna find out soon. Oh, he ran through it. No, he didn't. Okay. Whew. Crispy. Especially this area. If they run through it, but it's like they're gonna learn pretty quick. This, this may be fun, just watch. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I'll bring you more this week.